Ugh, that tastes awful. Oh no! Master's in real trouble! <laughs> you have to drink some water! You can't just swallow powder! It'll stick to your throat! Idiot! He just swallowed poison! We need to make him spit it out! The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Can I see that bottle for a second? Uh, sure. Do whatever you like. Kyoko took the bottle from Byakia and scraped out a bit of the contents with one finger. She touched her finger to her tongue. This is... it's protein powder. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder... The poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? It's, uh, it was her protein shake. The bottle of poison was actually filled with protein powder. Which would mean... But conversely, the poison must have been in, could it be? Oh. into the protein can. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. Something at the scene? I got it! You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. What? She did it, but I feel like it was accidental. That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. You know, I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. For real? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. Footprints. I got it! The footprints left behind in front of the shelf. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that I feel point. like they, but they've been Sakura's, and she had the yellow on her shoe. They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. What's more, the footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must have gone to Section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... It was me. Knew it. The footprints. They're mine. 
Nina? Ooh, but she didn't do it on purpose. If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Ogre's killer was... Yep. I am doing okay. How are you doing? I did it. I killed Sakura. Just as I suspected. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear sneakers are... Sneakers, huh? The only people who wear sneakers are... A gun! Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Yaku. That explains why you... These footprints must be... Makoto, are they yours? No. Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just Nina. Plus, Nina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. <laughs> you were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? I... I can't believe it. I feel like Sakura probably asked her to kill her. What about it can't you believe? Well, it's just... The two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Hina, is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. This is an anime? I didn't know that. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. Oh. And then that's good to know. She downed it all at once. And, and then... Hold it! I'm not convinced. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Not a person alive would sacrifice but themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. Who it is? I'm gonna have to watch him. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. <sighs> how many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism, but there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well, th that doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, together. that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not... Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? Is there a way where, like... <laughs> Hina's technically considered an accomplice if Sakura asks Hina to kill her? Does that work? If she just grabbed the poison for her? Because technically that just means that Sakura killed herself because she knew... I'm, I think I'm getting a little over. And if I do? Over my head here. Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no I'm thinking way that. I think she's this. an accomplice. I think Sakura asked her to kill her. 
And because she asked her to kill her and she did the medicine or took the poison herself, she's technically a person who killed herself and he is the accomplice, which means nothing will happen to her. Are you sure about that? Even I think so. The fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I I think I should be a detective. I mean, I'm pretty good at figuring this shit out with, I mean, you know, why would someone leave such that a Instagram trip? Like, I'm a good private they... investigator. <laughs> it's too obvious, too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That, that was, I was just nervous. So I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah, that's just how it was. What can I do? I played another game on the Switch. It was the AI Somnium Files. Kind of like this, a little more three-dimensional. It was pretty good. I didn't finish it, though, because I got stuck in a level <laughs> and rage quit. Listen, Hina, could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. How come? That doesn't matter. Hina, please. I'd like to know, too. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think I heard that, too. Fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. I think it's on PC, too. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well... Right away, I went to Section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. Okay, then. I've heard Doki on. Doki is really good, too. That was on my list after I finished these four games. So then I moved to Section A and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, it's good to everything know. I did got found. I'm here out. for it. And that's it. That story you just told. First you went to section C to get the poison. Then moved to Section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from Section C to Section A. Do I have that correct? That's at least good, because I have no plans yeah. until... Um... Yakuza's next one comes out in the end of January. Which is perfect. What if it's true? Isn't that a little strange? Can you repeat that series of events one more time? Yes, we do. What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? How long? Until we figure it out. Until I uncover the full truth of this case. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from Section C to Section A. And that's where I switched the powders. Once I was done switching them, I put the bottle filled with the protein powder back in Section A. Then I took the bottle with the poison in it and left the chem lab. That's all there is to it. Honestly, that's enough. How much longer must we tolerate this? First, I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. Okay. And I moved from section C to section And that's where I switched the powder. Once I was done, I put the bottle filled with the protein powder back in section. Then I took the bottle with the poison and left the That's all there is. Honestly, that's mm. enough. How much longer must we tolerate this? <laughs> First, I 
first I went to stats when I grabbed the poison, and you spilled some of the yeah. And I okay, and then I moved from section C to section A. And that's where once I was done, I put the bottle filled, then I took the bottle and left the cats all there is. Honestly, that's enough. How much longer must we tolerate mm. this? And then the footprints in what direction were they facing? That's clearly contradict what Hina told us. Okay. First I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the yeah. Okay. And I moved from section C to section A. Hmm. Shoot! First I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the yeah. Okay. I moved from section C. Okay, so I didn't have to highlight anything. You said you went to get the poison from section C. And that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah. What about it? And after that, you said you moved from section C to section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from section C to section A. That contradicts what you just said. Look. Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? I was just nervous, so I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. What the? Hina, what's the meaning of this? Uh, um, well... You lied to us. Plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to Section A. So you never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Oh, well... You see... What the? What the hell? What's going on here? And the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. Oh, someone didn't do a good job with their investigating. Before I explain that part, I'd like to <laughs> submit some new evidence. New evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I did? It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed you, of all people, would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. <laughs> Just say it already! What is it you think you found? I found this. Huh, a piece of glass. It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle. Too bad he didn't finish the protein. And the hidden clue was exposed. Thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. But, but, what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then. Oh, I love this. Makoto, why don't you explain it? Huh? Me? Uh, if you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. A shard of glass. Kyoko found in the bottle of poison. I think I remember now. I broke something with the same shade of blue. I got it! It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? <laughs> Always the finish window? your protein. The window we broke to get in was light I am. blue. Just like that. So I think that must be it. You're right. Yeah, my monitors are not be. close enough together. Of course, I could always change my monitor so it's vertical, the chat one, but I... too lazy. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? What's so strange about that? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... Where, it, where was it? The bottle of poison should have been when you broke the rock room, according to what Hina told us. I wasn't fully listening. Section C? No, Section A. Shoot. What's Ooh, strange fancy. Is that? I 
got it! The bottle of poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right, Hina? Uh, um... And yet, somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Hina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, hold on. You're moving too fast. Oh, you can't handle it. Oh, thanks. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. <laughs> well, no, not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene. Well, that would be really cool. Open. Oh, come on! How can you say that? How can you know what I don't know? The reason she can say that is because there's evidence. There's proof that someone brought the protein can to the rec room after it was open. It was the way that it was positioned. Over the glass. When it comes to that protein can, there's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. So you're saying... Someone planted it there after we got the door open? No. No, that's impossible! It, it had to have been in there the whole time! It had to be! It was in there before the... No. No, it's wrong. It's wrong. You remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. We also found pieces underneath the can. What? And this proves it. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. I... I see. So that's your explanation. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped A over Sakura it, cosplay? Mm, that wig is not for... I can't handle that kind of wig. If that were the case... That would explain the can being no. on top of the glass. I don't think I could do any cos- I'd do a Monokuma cosplay. I'd do that. Hey, Regan. How's the game so far? Long. I just learned I'm halfway through. So you asked everyone about <laughs> it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And mm -hmm. as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room, and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. If that's all true, then why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. Nobody agreed to shit. No, that's not why. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? 
you're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is exactly what happened. Then tell us already. Er, sorry. Please tell us. Oh, look at you in some manners. You call manners. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was Hina, right? Mm -mm. She took it and gave it to Ogre. What do you think, Makoto? The only one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it to the rec room. It had to have been Sakura. I got it! I think there's longer Sakura ones. Herself. Stop. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? What are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? No, it's not a lie. Sakura definitely went to section C. Kyoko already showed me the evidence I need. Now I have to hit Hina with it. Oh, it's a party. You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Wrong! You're wrong! I hate you! Oh my god. This is moving very You're fast. You're a liar! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Wrong! You're wrong! Do you have any kind of proof, Sakura? You should prove it! Yeah, I do. Just whip it out and hit Hina with it. Hina? Did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? It did? It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. So the powder we found on Sakura, what else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Facts. Uh Wait, wait, wait. So, what was that powder doing on Ogre's foot? And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing, which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around, and some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? No. But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contained. No! It was me! I... the poison! Because... Because... Because I killed her! No, you didn't kill her. The one that killed Sakura? The connection between Sakura and the poison. The unsolved mystery of the locker room. There's only one way to explain it. Here's my answer! Oh, stinky puppy. Killed Sakura. Was Sakura herself? What? The killer was Sakura? Wait, so you're saying it was suicide? I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly. I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Mm -hmm. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room, and she drank it. Aww. All so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because of course... 
I got it! The locked room mystery was created by Sakura. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? Mm-hmm. When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door because you already knew Sakura was dead. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything. And Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. You said you were going to go get everyone else. But your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room... I got everyone. Ogre! So, she's dead, huh? Sakura's been killed, I see. While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. Honestly, I should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. The Hina I know never would have left her side in mm -hmm. a situation like that. So, Sakura committed suicide. Hey, Seso, thanks for the follow. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't Dang care it, if we blamed That's you great. for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence, and yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? No! No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! It is. Actually, no. You're right. <laughs>